Day three of Bengals training camp in the books here outside Paul Brown Stadium on the Kettering Health training fields. It was another warm day, not nearly as hot as it was on Wednesday and Thursday. As a matter of fact, there was a good breeze blowing throughout practice, keeping all the players and coaches and staff, for that matter, quite comfortable on this Friday afternoon. News of the day, of course, is the offensive line. So many eyes on the right-hand side without Lael Collins and Alex Kappa out there. Lael Collins talking to the media in the locker room before training camp practice on Friday saying, yeah, he'd like to be on the field. He's a competitor, but the minor back issue that he suffered away from the team earlier this month is not going to be a big deal. He feels very confident he'll be ready when the bullets start flying for real, so he's not that concerned about that. He also, as Frank Pollock mentioned after practice, has worked with Frank Pollock before, knows what to expect from Pollock, knows the kind of technique and uh, obviously the execution level that uh, the offensive line are expected to perform at under Pollock. So L.L. Collins not overly concerned about that. As far as Alex Kappa is concerned, again, he is not on the field. So filling uh, their places at right tackle and right guard, respectively, are Isaiah Prince and, of course, Hakeem Adeniji, two veterans who have experience in the Bengals' system. So Bengals not really missing a beat. And, of course, Joe Burrow, again, not on the practice field here on Friday as he recovers from his appendicitis and his appendectomy earlier in the week. Two injury notes to mention here uh, in this CLNS Bengals report on Friday. Mike Thomas, the wide receiver, suffered an apparent uh, left ankle injury, making a nice grab early in practice against Mike Hilton in coverage. It appeared that uh, it was Thomas trying to avoid Hilton and colliding with him, and he tweaked his left ankle. He came out of practice and really didn't participate in, in, in any of the 11-on-11 or red area drills uh, that the Bengals participated in later in practice. And the other injury was Jeff Gunner. You might remember Gunter from Thursday's practice. He got into the scrap post-whistle with Isaiah Prince. Well, Gunter suffered an apparent left leg injury. He was down on the ground for several minutes late in practice in the red zone drills. Uh, it was uh, Gunter being tended to by staff, and he was helped to his feet, but he was walking off the field very gingerly. Again, a cart not needed, but it didn't look great for the rookie. Uh, Jeff Gunter as he tries to make a spot on this 2022 Bengal team. In terms of the competition on the field, again, Eli Apple and Jamar Chase going head to head, and it's really something to watch. As a matter of fact, you know, Eli Apple may be wanting to take a little more consideration and care in how aggressively he's going after Jamar Chase on a corner pattern that Eli Apple had terrific uh, coverage in in the red zone drills. He almost collided with uh, Jamar Chase. That's both, both of them kind of took an awkward tumble to the ground. But again, both were got up A-OK, -okay, no problem there. So uh, both were able to get off the field. Stanley Morgan had another terrific catch in the red zone drills. He ran a drag route against Eli Apple. It was Brandon Allen throwing a pass over a cornerback, uh, Mike Hilton, and Stanley Morgan making a diving catch after the play. It was Morgan receiving a high five and a high jump, chest thump, if you will, from Joe Mixon, who, as always, is into every single practice in training camp, really adding and bringing a lot of energy to Bengals practice. On Saturday, it's back together Saturday inside Paul Brown Stadium as half the stadium is expected to be full, filled with uh, Bengal fans. Uh, certainly the lower bowl could be uh, entirely filled and maybe even a little bit more than that as the NFL celebrates training camp Saturday, really the first full Saturday of training camp practices around the National Football League. Back to football Saturday taking place inside Paul Brown Stadium here on Saturday. And that's the wrap for uh, Bengals coverage here on Friday afternoon outside Paul Brown Stadium for complete Bengal coverage and all of my tidbits, trags, takes from Bengals practice. Be sure to visit CLNS Media and visit me on Twitter at trags, T-R-A-G-S. Outside Paul Brown Stadium, Mike Petralia, CLNS Media.